Hello friends, welcome back and this is the third workflow of Voltrex which we are designing and let's get the data, you will get it in the description, the file and today we are working with the, the CSV file that you will get is the copy data and let's run this file. So we will be doing a few questions based on this, that is, uh, the first question is pop, popping up here that which state is the biggest consumer of decaf tea? Let's see our data. What does it say? It says that we've got some 10 fields and 942 records. And these are the fields like date, market size, market product line. And it gives you a description of various tea and coffee uh, variety, their profit sales, the states and the type. Okay, so this is a very basic kind of an analysis that we are doing in Alteryx and we design very basic workflow based on this data so since our data is uh, very basic i would first of all um, you know to make this workflow more efficient uh, okay i'll tell you in the next step let's keep some surprises so uh, the first question is which state is the biggest consumer of decaf tea now it is asking decaf tea that means in here if i see in my data i have got tea and coffee okay and I've got type as regular and decaf, right? And I can scroll down, I can have just two type, regular decaf, and I've got two product line, coffee and tea. So now it is only asking me decaf and tea. So my things become easy. That what I have to do is I have to use filter first. I'll filter my data, and in that, what I'll use is firstly I use product line because here it's product line and this equals t okay so when i just uh, filter this it will give me t now my another filter was decaf right now either i can add one more filter and write here that if uh, this equals what type equals you know what decaf and I run this so, so I'll get only T and decaf but for but here I'll have to use two filters what if if I want to use only one filter so what I'll do is I'll delete this and here only I'll go to the basic filter and I'll mention one more condition and and the type equals what okay use double quotes uh, sorry decaf okay and then run this so in one filter we are getting two conditions fulfilled that is decaf and the t the type right now the another thing is now we have to find out the biggest consumer which state is the biggest consumer so for this i would not require a few fields here so what i can do before further analysis i can just simply sort my data so that this becomes easier to load right so i can just do away with a few columns which need not be loaded again and again and have nothing to do with market product profit sales we are not dwelling into this right now so what all we require i'll keep only that so let's run this again and get our workflow so now i'm getting a very sorted and simple and uh, no, concise data and the false i will get regular coffee and regular tea coffee both decaf and regular okay now let us switch to the second part of it and that is which state is the biggest consume now we want state so what we'll do is we'll go to the transform ribbon transform take summarize and simply state group by and uh, consumer so for that what i want i'll take this type okay and i'll take the count of it so i'll get the count of each state ordering the t decaf t so i can also write it here orders t orders okay these are the orders that the states have placed so based on this order i can find out which state has placed the maximum orders or if maximum orders that means they have they are the maximum consumer of it right 
so we can find here 20 records and in that from this i want the biggest consumer so for that i would need one more summarize tool and here i will use the max max of that orders is 18 right now i got 18 here and i got states here i want the biggest state having the maximum orders so what i have to do i will have to combine it okay so let us combine so i'm just uh, rearranging it from the join to let's take join and in the right anchor let's have this and in the left anchor let's have this join it on orders and here let it be max orders uncheck this right because this is the same column and let's see this join uh -huh. now we got some six records Utah, Nevada, Colorado, California, Florida and Illinois which are having 18 maximum orders that means uh, for, uh, instead of using sales and other other fields i have just used the t type okay that column to get the maximum count right so these are the biggest consumer of decaf tea these states now coming to the next question that is okay so this is the workflow now next question is which state is the biggest consumer of regular tea all right so i'll take this data again and i'll take this filter sorted data again right now again this is the same question but now the type has changed to regular t so my filter will also change let's quickly attach this filter to this sorting okay data and what i'll do is i will again write the product line which is equals again t right what you can do is you can practice with coffee we are practicing tea here you can practice with coffee and what the type equals what regular right previously we found out for uh, decaf now let's find it out for regular okay and let's run this and what we will get is the regular tea for different states and the product type okay now again we'll do the same thing as we did earlier because we want the biggest consumer so first let's find the consumers first and with their count so state group by and type would be what the count and let's run this and this is the count that we got and again let's summarize this with the maximum count or you can also rename it as orders so we'll do this maximum and just run this again go to the join i'm doing it fast because we've already done it in the first workflow let's join this okay and uh, left and right and uh, let's just do it on what you want to join this uncheck this right button and join this here we go here we got the eight records and these are this is the count of uh, the states having regular t no maximum orders right okay now the third question is which type of tea is most popular okay which type of tea is most popular now if we go back to our data and we look at our data what do we have here okay the product type so it is asking which variety of the tea is most popular whether it is lemon or mint or darjeeling or decaf espresso or you know cafe mocha or something like that so again i will have to use t filter and this previous filter was having t and regular right so now what i want is only t so let's take it here in the preparation tool let's take the filter tool sort tool and here let's filter what the product line equals t and let's run this we'll run it yeah so now we got the different type of teas here now we want the most popular again we'll use the summarize tool this is my favorite tool i'm telling you because it's so makes life so easy and now what we'll do is we'll go to the product type and let's just group by this product type again i'll use this and i'll sum this up 
let's just count this again so that I can get how many of these are being used by these states so here I got the summation results with two columns and that is product type and the count now green tea lemon mint darjeeling you can see the count of these that means the orders that have been placed by different states of this tea variety now i want to find the popular most popular and we can see here since the data set is small that the lemon is most popular i just want this row and not all so what i'll do here is i will use a tool here which is a preparation tool and i'll sort the data now here i can do either in ascending or in descending right so let's first do a descending order and um, once i use this the data will be arranged from the highest to the lowest so lemon that's what i wanted but i just want one result not all these five other variety so what i'll use it i'll use the sample tool here and i'll use the first one row and let's get the result and here we are with lemon Dun -dun -dun. okay now it has one trick you can use last 10 rows if you are using ascending here okay if you use ascending you can use your last one right all right now one another important thing here is that if someone says like um, if your manager says that you've got this result of uh, you know the biggest consumer of decaf tea output this data so how would you do that in out tool just take this output tool and it will ask you the location i'll zoom it zoom in for you so you can write here to the down arrow and then go to the excel file because you want to save it in excel or you want it in you know sas file tableau extract file or sql lite all tricks database json file you can choose from different flat files also so i'll choose this excel file now it will ask you the location so I can just write here, it is, you have to see the location here. So it is going in my desktop Alteryx folder and then folder. And then I will write here um, T and underscore uh, decaf. Okay. So just remember this is T underscore decaf. And I'll say save. And this says specify the sheet. That is sheet 1. Then let the name be same. Okay. And you can see here the location has been specified and we'll run this once you run this this it will tell you the location of the file okay so here you can see here this is t decaf okay and once i open this file we can see all the records here right so we can see here these six records and these states we're having decaf tea right okay and this can be used for visualization if you want this is a very small data set that's why it's coming so like this so this was the third workflow that we did and you can experiment with the decaf uh, coffee regular coffee and experiment and practice and for any queries or doubt do let me know in the comment section and also you can take personalized sessions with me I'll leave the details in the description box. Right? Till then, thank you and happy learning.